there's no snakes here. Or is there? Let me show you some things. The sand hills in Florida is a world of subterranean tunnels. See these little mounds? Those are made by pocket gophers. There's more. Gopher tortoise holes. Moles, shrews, different species of mice. My point is, is there's more tunnels in this habitat than there is in Moria. So that means the only time you're gonna see them is when they decide to come up. And the conditions have to be right for that. And that begs the question, what are good conditions? And I kinda know, but even on days that are good conditions like today, which are mid 60s, the sun is shining, I would suspect to see something, but I'm not. We are on a gopher tortoise trail. If I get sand ticks, I'm blaming you. You can just pick them off, it'll be okay. Take a look at this. This area has been recently burned. You can see all the pocket gophers in this area. Tell you what, this is pine snake heaven. They're here, just mostly underground. So this isn't scientific at all. This is just something I've been thinking about. I think it's so hard to find snakes in North Florida in the sand hills because of our climate here. One week in the wintertime, we're subtropical. The next week, we're temperate. And it fluctuates week after week. Trying to hike up sandhill species, they like it a little bit on the cooler side. They like daytime temperatures in the 60s. And as soon as it gets above that, they're not out. And if it's below that, they're probably not out either. Now, here's the thing. If there's so many days that fluctuate back and forth in North Florida, what days are the days that they're gonna come out? And it's not always the perfect days, you would think because I go out on those days and find nothing all the time. Like today, this morning was great. There might have been only a small window to find something because we were in the 60s and right now I think we're, we're close to 70 right now. So I honestly think the window of opportunity here in North Florida just isn't as long as it would be in let's say Georgia. The habitat's here, the snakes are here. They just don't want to come out. I mean, sometimes I think about, do other states have more snakes in Florida? Or do they have a more pure type of habitat? Think about it. Florida's been chopped up and quartered. So most of us know in the southeast, the coastal plains area, most of the longleaf pine was cut down. And obviously that really messed up the habitat. There wasn't much pine savannas like you see behind me. I kind of think Florida was one of the last states for that to happen. Even though Florida has a lot of state parks and a lot of natural land, there's also a lot of people that own farms and homes. And when those privately owned places get built up, they knock it back down again. So it never has a chance to mature or even get close to maturing. And I don't think that's the complete case in most of the states. I think a lot of those states have more areas that have more time to mature. And that has a lot to do with how fast the state is growing. People come here from out of state and they go, oh look, I'm gonna buy some land. They buy some land and they know nothing about its natural history. And in a lot of cases, they don't care. And personally, I think landowners here in Florida should care. They should know about the natural history of the way it should look, the way it did look. I'm not saying they shouldn't do what they want to do to the land. I own my land. I pretty much do what I want to do. But I'm sensitive to this. I mean, I would like this in most of my backyard. So I really think this problem starts with the landowners. They need to be more sensitive to what we have and what we're losing. Anyone that owns land in Florida, that should be their responsibility. Partly. Now, this is all for me rambling because I can't find any snakes today. However, tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong on some things and you might have a better insight. So let me know. Other than that, I'll see you next time where hopefully I'm finding snakes. Bye.